I'm going to show you how to properly connect compressed air and city water to the Guard Air Hydroforce. First, I'd like to show you how the Hydroforce works. Compressed air is connected to this 3 quarter inch NPT thread. City water is connected to this standard garden hose connector. Compressed air is controlled by this trigger. There's a special valve inside the body of the gun that is actuated by the compressed air. When you pull the trigger, the compressed air comes down, opens this valve, and allows water to flow. The water and compressed air then mix into the barrel and shoot out the gun. Let's connect the water first. The Hydroforce uses standard city water and a standard garden hose. Simply connect the garden hose to the ball valve of the gun. Next, we will connect the compressed air to the Hydroforce. The Hydroforce needs at least 140 SCFM of flow at 100 pounds of pressure. Anything less than the gun might not operate correctly. In order to get this flow and pressure to the gun, it is important to use a 3 quarter inch ID air hose. Do not restrict it by using a smaller air hose or any reducing fittings, and do not use quick disconnect fittings. We recommend using a uni universal fitting, which is also called a Chicago fitting. These fittings have no restrictions to the ID and allow full flow to the Hydroforce. Simply connect this fitting to the 3 quarter inch NPT fitting in the Hydroforce and use a wrench to tighten. Now to install the airline. This is a 3 quarter inch ID airline with a universal fitting attached to the end. Simply line up the claws and twist. These fittings come with a safety clip. Install at least one safety clip. Now we're ready to use it. But before I show you how the Hydroforce works, I'd like to talk about safety. I always wear some type of hearing protection, some type of eye protection. After using the Hydroforce, you want to drain the water from the gun first. Turn off the water at the source and actuate the air until the water stops coming out the end of the gun. Now disconnect the water line. Make sure to drain any water that might be left in the gun. The last thing to do to turn off the air at the source and then purge the gun.